Alrighty then, in this video uh, we're looking at the uh, primary coil around the outside and I've actually joined the two outer coils together so as we have one primary of um, 140 turns. Okay, on the uh, ground side, negative side, we have our 1 ohm resistor which all our common grounds are hooked to and then the other side of my signal generator is going into the other side of our primary coil which is the, um, both coils now joined into one uh, I've got a 100 ohm load across the inner secondary um, nothing to it really, I just decided to stick a load on it, doesn't really make that much difference um, when we get up in the high frequencies but um, low frequencies it does, I just wanted to leave it there um, for no particular reason at all we can take it out, put it in, doesn't really make much difference to the outcome across the primary which we haven't really had a good look at up in the high frequencies other than to calculate our power in, power out alright so um, on our scope you can see the blue channel is hooked across our 1 ohm CVR the yellow channel is across the 1 ohm CVR and the coil so basically across our signal generator and I've also brought up my math trace now this math trace, we can bring the math trace up no problem at all and it can um, do channel 1 times channel 2 or plus minus whatever you like but nowhere on this scope can I find or anyone else has been able to work out how to get the scope to calculate that math, math trace so we have to do it manually um, now this video we're going to have a look at a negative uh, resistance effect that isn't supposed to exist and um, well anyway we'll see what happens okay so we are starting frequency we're um, driving the system with our function generator of course going flat stick at 20 volts peak to peak uh, which is not what you're seeing there of course because it simply doesn't have um, enough output power to do such a job alright so um, 1 kilohertz to start with everything normal um, as you can see in our math trace is telling us we're using oodles of power well not oodles but we are consuming power so um, being burnt off in the form of heat around our primary and secondary and also across our resistor here and across a little bit across this resistor but not very much as you can see we only have 46 millivolts across our 1 ohm CVR 4.16 volts RMS across the CVR and primary coil so um, I'll raise the frequency now up to 10 kilohertz just so we can have a look see what's going on here and as you can see we've gone up a little I have the uh, math trace at the moment um, it's set at 200 millivolts per division okay so um, still situation normal we can see the voltage is leading the current slightly um, as it does with inductors alright so now we'll go up to uh, say uh, we'll go uh, 50 kilohertz see our voltage is starting to climb and our current is starting to go down but nonetheless we are still consuming power and the phase between the voltage and the current the phase relationship is um, starting to shift even more and you can see that our math trace is starting to go below the zero volt line so now we're going to climb to 100 and we are starting to get a fairly large phase shift between voltage and current and um, so as we do not spend all night looking at it in small steps I'm going straight up to 1 meg and now we can see our current and voltage phase 
um, it's nearly 180 degrees out. Now we're going to go to 5 megs. This is where I have to turn everything down because it's just gone a while off the screen. Um, and I will reduce the math trace down to 1 volt per division. And now apparently we have some sort of negative resistance effect because the math trace is all below the zero volt line or from the zero volt line down there's nothing above so apparently the coil or our um, transformer is now sending power back to my signal generator so um not really sure what's going on there. It's fairly stable, fairly clean. Um <coughs> my first thought was the um resistor having some sort of um inducting inductance. Um so what you'll see here is I have a uh, two point seven ohm resistor here and I'm simply going to remove the um, positive side from our function generator which is on one side of our transformer and I'm going to hook it to the other side of this resistor which is basically in series with our 1 ohm so we're going to emit the um, transformer all together and we're going to have a look what our scope tells us then so I'm not even going to turn the function generator off I'm going to swap it on the fly So, didn't really have to take that one off, and put our channel 1 back on there. Okay, so now we're um, in series just simply going through the 1 ohm and then the 2.7 ohm resistor. No longer have this um, in play. So now we can see our voltage has died in the butt, but the current has gone up. But um, there's a couple of things that don't make sense. Now this does make sense in that the um, math trace is now all above the zero line. So um, that is telling us once again we are consuming power. So that will be um, being dissipated across our two resistors there. And um, But the thing is here... Uh, the blue trace is across a 1 ohm resistor and our yellow trace is across the 1 ohm plus the 2.7 ohm which gives us 3.7 ohms which means that the um, yellow channel should be showing us a voltage um, somewhere three and three and a half times greater than that of the blue channel but you can see we are both set to 500 millivolts on each channel per division and um, we have 840 volts RMS across channel 1, 720 millivolts RMS across channel 2. Channel 1 should be something like um, 2.5 ohm to 2.6 volts RMS, but it's not. So um, I do not know what's going on there, but something is not right. So, um, yes, we have to look a little further into that, but um, once again, without changing anything on our function generator, we'll go back and include our um, inductor now, and once again, you can see that the voltage has gone sky high, and the current has gone low, and we now have our negative resistor effect. Uh, what have I done so far? Okay, well I've traded this um, type of resistor out just for a um, standard carbon type resistor and the results were the same. We still get that negative resistor effect. So um, and then once again when we swap over to our second resistor 
and remove our inductor everything goes back to the way it should be other than the fact that the two voltages um, do not line up with what the scope is telling us that those resistances should be oddly enough so um, yes not sure what's going on there something else we have to look into but uh, that is what we have at the moment apparently um, some sort of negative resistance there is our um, inductor resistor combo apparently is sending more power back to the signal generator than the signal generator is sending to our inductor resistor combo so that's where we're at um, need to work out now as to why these values do not add up to what the scope is telling us something is amiss there um, little info there's a 20 megahertz scope um, function generator sorry good for uh, 20 megs on the AC side will only do one meg on a square wave 20 megs on a sine wave um, and our scope is of course um, 100 megahertz and we are operating at uh, 5 megahertz so we should be well within the accuracy um, as far as the scope is concerned the signal generator of course is just supplying the signal um, so I'm not sure something's something's amiss with the resistors so uh, we'll have to work on that a little alright guys thanks for watching and um, We'll keep on looking.